Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you. All right, so we're back on this 1983 Evinrude. Pow, pow, pow. Wake up. Uh, and it ended up being a little more than a wake up. Um, that close to being a parts motor, but uh, I decided, nope, we're going to try and bring it back. So, um, we're going to take this thing, I'm going to put it on the back of my Bay Runner skiff, we're going to take it out there and give it a good run. I've got a tank of gas mixed up 35 to 1, um, because... I was in that cylinder uh, honing and so forth, so I got a good 30 to 1 mixture in there. I got some Marvel Mystery Oil in there as well, a little Startron. So we're going to take it out, and you know, first I'll have to just take it easy, do some idling out of the channel at low RPMs, then I'll bring it up to about half speed, run it like that a little bit, um, shut it down, restart it, run it in reverse, and just make sure everything's working right. And after I've ran it a while, then I'll do some short burst of wide open throttle on it. Um, so we're going to get it on the back of the boat and get out there and give her a good run. Um, hopefully, um, I still got my rockfish jig rod in the boat. Maybe do a little jig fishing or something like that and see what happens. So let's give this thing a run.
there, maybe. Like I said, I want to take it easy on him. Doing a little jig fishing. I know that camera's bouncing around some. I had something on and then it got off. I don't know if it got my bait. I should check. Let me check. I'm using a, a lead head rooster tail type jig with a uh, chunk of herring on it. Yeah, he got my herring. So there's the lure. The luha. Well, the old Evan Rood ran pretty good on the way out here. No problems. And uh, I'll run her around, run a couple gallons to it. We'll see if that bottom cylinder comes up. You never know. Oh, I got him that time. Whatever he is. Fish on. Don't feel like a halibut. It's not fighting good enough, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, he's starting to fight now. I'm hoping it's a nice cod. Big cod. Ooh, he's pulling. This might be a halibut. Got that rod bent, boy. Man, he, yeah, this is a halibut, I think. Oh, yeah, there he goes. This is not really a halibut rod. He's paying out some line. Good fish, whatever it is. Look at that rod. And he's just hanging on the bottom. It's a halibut. I'm almost positive. I'm afraid I'm going to lose. Whoa. When I first... Headed out this way, I saw birds working here. Seagulls working here. I'm starting to gain on him some. Don't see no color yet. Pretty good one, man. Yeah, and I'm sure he's gonna make one. I get him up. He's gonna make another run. They generally do. Ticket is slow as she goes. 
I'm in about 80 feet of water here. But he ran, oh there he is. Man, this is a nice halibut. There, can they see him? Now he'll probably make another run. Nice halibut. He'll probably make another run. But I'm gonna try and gap him. Whoa! That didn't work out too good. That's halibut fishing. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. He knows what's going on now. Whoa. Come back up, big guy. feels like it's about to fall off I'd say he's about 60 pounder like I said this is really not this is more rockfish gear <laughs> that I'm using so I hope I don't break him off just take my time get him back up he went straight back to the bottom let that arm rest Reel down, constant pressure up. I see him again, there he is. So I'm getting him close, there he, there he comes. There he is. Looks like he's hooked pretty good. Try the gaff again, I guess. That's what you don't want him to do. Start thrashing. I got it. Shit. Ah. I was unprepared for that halibut. I didn't have my my harpoon set up I didn't have the right hooks because I was out here testing a motor <laughs> the fishing was kind of an afterthought really that shows you if you're unprepared but I still got a chicken halibut and a rock sole so I'm still having fresh beer battered halibut fish tonight. I just ain't gonna have a 70 pounder. I got something bigger than whatever that last one was but not real big. Not pulling any line or anything. What we got? What we got? Double ugly? Yep. Sculpin. Hate these things. Nymph! 
ramp. Back at the barn. Well, I didn't get a 70 pound halibut. Cause I screwed that up royal. But I'm still gonna have halibut and baked stuffed rock sole. So I got this nice little cheeky halibut here, which will give me four beautiful fillets. So this will be a final on this 1983 35 horsepower Evan Rude that was tired, salty. Um, as you see, I took it out and gave it a good run. And, uh, and now I'm going to pop the recoil starter back off of it, get my compression gauge hooked back into that lower cylinder, well both cylinders, but Mainly what we're looking at is the uh, bottom cylinder, which had 90 PSI. The top had around 110 the last time I checked. So we'll, we'll give it another compression test and see if those numbers came up. I ran it really good. Um, and the motor did wonderful. I mean, it ran really nice and um, seemed to have a lot of zip to it and everything. And... Uh, so I've got her, as far as I'm going to take her, the numbers are what they are, but the motor does run pretty well. Um, it, it would be fine for a recreational skiff or, you know, just a work motor of some kind. It, it's, uh, it runs pretty good. I was pretty impressed with it. And on my little GPS here, I couldn't show it on film. It just, the, I could hardly even see it um, just because of the sun, but on my little GPS, I was getting <clears throat> a wide open throttle with it. I was getting 22 miles an hour. So it, it pushed the boat pretty daggum good. Um, and then, uh, so let's get it all. Let me get the uh, recoil zipped off. We'll get a compression test and see if that bottom number came up at all. Let me get set up. I'll be back. Okay, I'm in the bottom cylinder and I am zeroed out. Let's see what we get. <sighs> Looky there. We are at 105. 105. So she's coming up. 105. See what we get at the top. I kind of thought that it would come up after that hone in and a good run, and, and I do believe it'll come up even a little more. There you go, I'm zeroed out on the top. Let's see what we get. I got about, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, will even come up a little more because I only run at wide open throttle for oh, about total time would be about <clears throat> probably about 10 minutes um, so and I ran about three gallons of, of fuel through it so I believe she'll uh, 
come up a little more. And like I said, it, it actually, well, you'll be able to see it in the video, it, it ran really well. I started it and stopped it in between my fishing disaster a few times. And uh, I'm meaning to put this little clip back on. Put my little clip back on. There we go. So, and before I launched the boat out there, I actually took some. Uh, purple power before I left the house here actually <clears throat> I sprayed the uh, lower unit down and everything with purple power gave it a little bit of a scrub and then that way when I launched it cleaned up that lower unit and the rest of it pretty good and uh, Uh, this is this is all I'm gonna do this one it's good to go um, so that little quick honed and sand job did I would I would say it's a success anytime you're raising <clears throat> raising the numbers on a cylinder you're doing good. And they're definitely coming up. look at the motor now the lower unit and all a little bit cleaner everything's loose and free and she seems to run pretty good well now um, that's gonna be a wrap on this guy here um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna bring in next um, I've got about five that have come in but I also got more water pump but uh, yeah this this Evan Rude 35 we psh, 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 woke it up found a lot of salt in it and everything but right now it's a pretty clean I would say fair running motor um, I went out fishing with it and uh, she did really good so I'm happy with it I'm happy happy with the results spent way too much time on it if I actually owned the motor I probably would have parted it out but we didn't and she's back and I, I think if taken care of it would last for many many more years so one more Evan Rude back to work the first attempt at gaffing that fish I didn't even stick the fish um, the gaff just kind of bounced off the side of his upper fin um, and then once he went back down and I finally got him back up I went to gaff him again completely missed the first try on the second attempt at gaff all I did was hit the water on the next attempt I did stick that fish but I stuck him high up on his dorsal fin you couldn't see it because all the splashing but I could see it um, and then when he thrashed the gaff just popped right out. The fish is going to be fine. He's not going to die or anything like that. I didn't stick him down low enough. Um, um, he'll have a wound there, but he'll he'll uh, be just fine. But uh, what I should have did, and I, I kind of regret doing it, I should have just broke him off. I should have just 
snap the line, let it go. I was not prepared. I didn't have my harpoon. A lot of times, if I'm going out and I'm targeting hal halibut, I will have a gun with me, and I would have shot the fish. Um, I should have just broke it off. Um, that was everything wrong and not how you fish for halibut. Um, that was not halibut gear. Um, I should have just broke it off immediately when I, I, you know, bring him up, let you guys see him, and then just, I should have snapped, cut the line. But uh, I thought if I gaffed him good, I could probably get him in the boat, but my gaff was a disaster. The whole thing was a disaster. I should have just broke it off. So anyway, that's how you don't catch a $400 halibut. Well, that's going to be a wrap on this little series on this 35 horsepower 1983 Evan Rude. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. That is one more hack from Kodiak. Make sure you subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.